all about gastric cancer JGC. The study to be introduced today is a study on how consistent the PCR results for MSI status and the immunohistochemistry results for MMR protein in gastric cancer are. Introduction. Defective DNA mismatch repair causes changes in the length of repeated sequences, a molecular phenomenon known as MSI. Expression of these DMMR proteins is usually assessed by immunohistochemistry for the four MMR proteins MLH1, MSH2, MSH6 and PMS2. MSI status is tested with a polymerase chain reaction-based assay. MSI high or MMR deficiency status is a prognostic factor and is known to be related to chemotherapy responsiveness, and is recently used as a criterion for immunotherapy. Immunohistochemistry is readily available, inexpensive, and can be used to directly identify relevant MMR genes. However, because of the heterogeneous or ambiguous variety of staining patterns, the interpretation of immunohistochemistry results is likely to be uncertain. In previous studies, the discrepancy rate between immunohistochemistry and PCR was mostly in the range of 1% to 10%. In this study, the authors compared immunohistochemistry data for MMR proteins with results from PCR-based assay of MSI. The authors evaluated the discrepancy rate of analysis results and the frequency of uncertain immunohistochemistry interpretations. MSI status was assessed by PCR testing using a National Cancer Institute panel of five markers. The five markers include two mononucleotide markers BAT26 and BAT25 and three dinucleotide markers D5S346, D17S250 and D2S123. Microsatellite status was determined through differences in the allele profiles of normal tissue and gastric cancer cells. MSI high was defined as the presence of two or more NCI markers with unstable peaks. In this figure, BAT26 and BAT25 seem to show unstable peaks. D2S123 also seems unstable. By the way, my interpretation seems unstable, doesn't it? I am not a pathologist. Sorry. If there are any mistakes, please explain in the comments. MMR protein expression was assessed according to the nuclear staining status of tumor cells. Tumor samples were classified into one of four categories based on the intensity and proportion of nuclear staining across slides. First, intact expression is a state in which all tumor cells and surrounding tissue nuclei adjacent to tumor cells are clearly stained. MMR preficient was defined when all four proteins were intactly expressed. Second, total loss of expression is a condition in which the nucleus of the surrounding tissue is well stained, but the nucleus of the tumor cell is not stained at all. Loss of MLH1 and PMS2 or MSH2 and MSH6, or loss of even one MSH6 or PMS2 was defined as MMR deficient. Third, subclonal loss of expression can be defined as loss of staining in a part with demarcated borders in gastric cancer cells with clear staining of surrounding tissue nuclei. Fourth, equivocal staining is a state in which neither the surrounding tissue nor the gastric cancer tissue is stained well. Subclonal loss of expression or equivocal staining was classified as an indeterminate immunohistochemistry case. Data from a total of 5,676 patients from 2008 to 2018 were analyzed. Of 594 cases excluding MSS and intact MLH1, 502 had loss of MSI high and MLH1 expression. The remaining 92 cases were discordant cases and indeterminate cases. The authors took another look at these 92 cases. 17 out of 37 concordant cases were cases in which the interpretation of staining was incorrect, as shown in the two figures above. In 12 cases, as shown in the picture on the left below, the staining itself was not well done. It shows a difference from the right side stained with another block of the same tissue. The remaining eight cases showed a total loss of expression for proteins other than MLH1. Even after re-examination, three discordant cases were found in MSI high and PMMR and three in MSS and DMMR. Of the 14 indeterminate MSI cases re-examined, 13 were PMMR and only one was DMMR. In one case of DMMR, PCR-based MSI testing revealed two stable mononucleotides and three unstable dinucleotides. Of the 35 indeterminate immunohistochemistry cases re-examined, 22 were MSI high and 13 were MSS or MSI low. Subclonal loss was 24 cases, 14 of which were MSI high. Subclonal loss was observed only in MLH1 and PMS2. Even after retesting, equivocal MMR immunohistochemistry results were observed in 11 cases, of which 8 were MSI high. Finally, MSI positive gastric cancer, either MSI high or MMR deficiency, was observed in 549 of 5,676 cases, or 9.7%.
Of these, 47 were added for re-evaluation. The sensitivities of the MSI test and MMR immunohistochemistry were 99.3% and 95.4%. This study had several limitations. First, this study compared only surgical specimens. Because biopsy specimens of gastric cancer are more difficult to interpret, a comparative test between the two assays using biopsy specimens of gastric cancer is needed. Second, a unified process should be developed to interpret discordant cases and prognostic significance of indeterminate staining results and molecular basis results. Third, MSH2 MSH6 protein IHC staining was performed only for discordant and indeterminate cases, which may have an effect in the direction of lowering the discordant rate. In conclusion, since MSS and PMMR are observed in more than 90% of GC patients, considering the low frequency of MSI high or DMMR, the proportion of discordant or indeterminate cases in gastric cancer is high. To improve this, complementary tests for accurate and reliable diagnosis are needed. Thank you for your listening. It's so damn hard.